Hey guys, uh, Black Metal Gamer, and um, I don't have much time to do a game review, so I decided I'm just going to do a quick little, uh, well it is game review, but it's, the games are relatively short, so I have time. Uh, it's called Capture the Flag, it's an old DOS game, I only have the shareware version, but you know, you, it, it's it's still fairly fairly good, you can buy it uh, from Car Software, I think at about... Twenty dollars, like twenty bucks, or something like you know, maybe fifteen or twenty bucks. Yeah, and it's actually a really great game. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but I plan to get it pretty soon, and I may even do some other, you know, just game videos about it um, when I have more time. But um, yeah, so let's just start a game. In the shareware version, you have the option to. I turn off the sound, by the way. The sound is it. it, it there's not much of it in this game, anyway. It's just mainly when you click and stuff. So I turned it off. But um. Yeah, so you have the tutorial tutorial here, and that we don't really need that, and because then when you start a game anyway, it really it gives you a good uh, tutorial. Um, human versus computer, and ver human versus human. Obviously, I'm alone right now, so easy and normal. And in the uh, full version, you have also network play, uh, a bunch more maps, uh, a, a lot, but just a bunch of, of other new stuff. Basically, you know, it, it's not. There's a, a lot of new features. This is just the basic, you know, uh, map. And But there's a lot more. And you can even actually make your own maps, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so. All right, so what, how we start out here is we have, I can't, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight people. And you can also change how many people you have in the full version, I think. But we start with eight people, and uh, they each have different stats and stuff. Uh which is basically, I forgot what the stats are, but it's basically stam stamina, I guess, how far they can see, how well they can be seen, that kind of stuff. And by clicking on them, we can see around the map here. And yeah, we don't need that. Let's see if I can take that off, actually. I don't know if I can. It doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, so basically, we start off, there's four positions. Um, running, obviously, gives you the, well, I think it gives you, like, the least visibility, and it gives you, but it gives you, a uh, the best speed, obviously, and it also um, makes you the most able to be seen uh, by someone. Uh, if you hide in the trees and stuff, you can also stay, remain uh, invisible to other players, and there'll be a question mark where you last were seen. Um, and then there's also crawling, which is also the slowest, but it gives you the best. Vis it gives you the these to be seen, look uh, like a lookout position, which helps you see. You know, it's the you go the farthest. Also, the last one is Wald King, which kind of, is kind of like a balanced version. It kind of gives you the benefit of all of them. Yeah, so the whole we have a mini map here, but to see the whole map, we can just click, we can right click, and that'll give us the whole map. We can't see everything here. This is the enemy side, this is uh, my side. Um, but yeah, we just left click on the map to, to zoom in on an area, or right click on the map to zoom in on an area. There's forest here. Here's one of my guys. And, um, yeah. So we start off like this. And say, if we want to move a person, I'll move this person. We'll click on him, select a position, and I think I'd like to run. And, you know, they gave you a tutorial along the way. And so when we run a run, we just, I think, left click, yeah, to the per to the place that we want to go. And, we, and they have movement points. You can see them, it's by the numbers here. So we have 24 more movement points. Also, one more thing. Uh, trees and rocks and streams. Uh, cabbage fields, I think, if that's what that is. Yeah, whatever, fields. Um, they hinder your movement also. So let's just move my character just by holding it down. Okay. Now... I think I'm actually going to hide in the forest here. So the way to do that is I'm just going to... I'm going to crawl. Actually, I'm going to walk. Uh, no, I, m changing your movement m makes one movement point go away. So I'm just going to crawl into the forest here. And I didn't make it. But that's fine. <laughs> oh, crap, I didn't make it. That doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, we do this to all of our characters. So, all of our people. And uh, I got Lord of the Rings... Uh, one last thing. I got Lord of the Rings to actually work. 
So I'm going to be doing a review of that, or, you know, I'm going to be continuing the playthrough, but I haven't, I don't have enough time right now. My parents are going to be gone for, uh, my brother and my dad are going to be gone for very long, so I can't do it with them in the house. Let's get into lookout phase so then we can see more of the area. So we basically do this to each one of our characters. And for just the sake of time, I'm going to end my turn here. Uh, also, in the freeware version, your flag does move around. So it's here in this one. Sometimes it can be, you know, like here or wherever. So, yeah. So we end the turn. Yeah. And the computer starts to move. And now the, the, your your enemy can actually, uh, you, know, you get to look at your player's moves to a certain extent. You have, you'd have to be able to see them. So see, we see this guy running. He tangles with us, and that's one part of the game. I can lose, and depending on, uh, I think it depends on, it's just, I think it's just random chance, actually, but uh, you can get captured, and then you, you in what, whatever amount of turns, like one or two, you return back to your base. So, yeah, it's just a chance thing. And we saw this guy move, because I have a guy right over here. He's hidden in the woods, so I'm not sure if he can see him or not. See how he dodges the trees? That's because it... Yeah, see, he walks into the woods, and I can't see him anymore after that. This guy is probably going to hit me. Or not, whatever. And after all the sightings are gone, you... It's your turn again. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. It's turn two now. And the game lasts for how, however many turns until turns until someone takes the flag. Now you don't have to actually run back with the flag; you just grab it, and, and the game ends. So uh, yeah, and the boxes on the screen are question marks as like it, when that means that we can't see them, the person anymore. That, that's just their last known location. So yeah, guys, uh, it's a fairly great game. It's a lot of fun, especially the network play. Um, that's just my guess. I mean, I. It's fun to play in single player, so with it must be pretty fun to play with your friends too. So um, yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this game review. Uh, this is a great game. I I definitely recommend that you at least download the the freeware version, shareware version, um, whichever one. I, I'm not sure. I think it's shareware. Yeah, it's shareware. Um, yeah, and if you do like it, then go ahead and go to I think it's just type in Car Software, C A R R Software, in Google, and you'll find it. Uh, you'll find his website, and he has, uh, like, five games or so, and you can buy it. It's, it comes with a package of other, of like, I think four other games. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this game review, guys. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe and uh, rate the video and uh, favorite it. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching.